following opinions are solely those of Botest.com and its test captain. Hi, I'm Steve for Botest.com, and today we're going to be taking a look at an impressive boat from Aquila, the 36. She's available in two versions, and both are extraordinary in that they have gobs of room, hold a crowd of people comfortably, feature a spacious open bow with convertible lounge areas, and still has room for two cabins with ensuite heads. One great advantage of any catamaran is that the beam width is carried from its midsection to both the bow and stern, resulting in prodigious deck space. At the stern, we have the outboard engines, a large swim platform between them, and a bench seat. Under the hardtop is the galley to starboard and the dinette to port. Forward is the double helm companion seating and the twin companion ways to the staterooms below. On the foredeck is the largest seating area of all. Let's step aboard and take a detailed inspection. We enter from one of two side doors, one to port and one to starboard, and are immediately welcomed by aft seating running nearly all the way across the stern. The doors are thick, solid, supported by beefy stainless steel hardware and latches, and include rails across the top. Eyes to this and the aft rails will accommodate a clip-on chain or wire to complete the safety factor. The aft seats give our first look at the quality of the brand with their quilted stitching, bead welting, and contrast-colored UV-resistant thread. Stainless steel drink holders are in the armrests and storage is underneath all. Alternative upholstery choices are certainly available. Also at the boarding gate, there's the connectivity for the shore power. In the deck are two hatches, which starts to show the mirroring qualities typical of a catamaran. Inside are the independent aluminum fuel tanks feeding the independent propulsion systems, the white freshwater tank, and just ahead is the black water tank. All repeated to the hull on the opposite side, which also includes the Fisher Panda generator. And we're not only seeing how Aquila is big on labeling, but big on systems access, two features that bode well for an owner-operated boat. And lastly, in the little things that make a big difference department, notice how the deck is angled aft and slightly towards the center to allow water to flow aft and out the aft deck. Great touch for easing washdowns. The swim platform is accessed through a door in the transom, and it's an area that adds to the gathering and entertainment capabilities of the Aquila 36. The decking is covered in non-skid sea deck. Pull-up cleats eliminate the toe stub factor. Tie-down cleats are higher out of the way. And there's an aft-facing bench seat that allows for relaxing at any time the 36 isn't underway. This seat is also joined to the cockpit bench seat and both lie flat to form a large sun pad. And of course, the theme of storage everywhere continues. The underwater lights are a nice touch and look at this swim ladder. It's flush when stowed, deploys electrically, includes wide teak treads and automatic pop-up grab rails. First we've seen of this sort of quality in any reboarding ladder. And there's the freshwater shower and a stereo remote. Davits can be added to store a tender. Just ahead is the galley. It includes plenty of storage, a pull-out refrigerator freezer, a wraparound grab rail, the Corian counter has raised edges, there are one, two electric grills, additional storage is just behind, and a covered single basin sink includes contemporary fixtures. Below is a tilt-out trash receptacle. Across the port is an L-shaped settee wrapping around a pedestal table. The table is collapsible and, when folded, exposes stainless grab rails. This casual dining area is well suited for keeping the guests centrally located in between the 36's three main gathering areas, and it's protected under the huge hardtop overhead supported by beefy stainless steel stanchions. When it's time to let some sunshine in, push up a button opens the massive sunroof. Choose opening hatches instead. Courtesy lights surround the perimeter. On this model, we have the standard half-height windshields and side windows with snap-in polycarbonate curtains bridging the gap between the windows and the hardtop, but full-height windows are an option. At the back is an elevated tow point. The forward seat back flips to allow for seating just ahead in the double-wide forward-facing seat at the port console. With a 24-inch seat height, we'd like to see a flip-out footrest here. And the folks at Aquila tell us that all future boats will have them. This model has a walk-through windshield. As we transition to the bow, the wow factor really kicks into high gear with this impressive and spacious gathering area. It can be configured in multiple ways. Start with the seats facing each other. Add a filler cushion for a double-wide lounger and an aft-facing seat. Or drop the forward backrest for a full-length lounger. Notice the seats include flip-down armrests, grab handles, upholstered recessed areas with cup holders and speakers. In the forward corners, there are mounting points for the supports for the full bow awning to provide shade. In the center of the seats is storage. 
Just ahead is a chain locker and a hatch over the elevated windlass that leads out to a recessed anchor roller just ahead. A chain stopper is provided and alongside is a 10 inch cleat. At the forward bulkhead there's a freshwater washdown with a valve to the side. A remote control is provided and it stores alongside. As with the stern, the deck is angled towards drains that channel water overboard. The cabins are accessed from doors at the center walkthrough and they slide forward into the bulkhead. The large beds are in the forward section of the two halls and the heads are aft. Upon entering, we measured headroom at 6 feet 6 inches. Just ahead is a berth measuring 6 feet 7 inches by 4 feet 7 inches that is entered from the foot of the berth. Hull side windows have pull down blinds, additional light comes from overhead, shelves are to the sides and ahead, drawers are beneath. To the aft bulkhead are the electrical panels, alongside is a door to the head, natural light pours in from a full length hull side window and an opening port light for ventilation. It's a wet head so the pull out sprayer doubles as a shower head, storage is along the side bulkhead, and all of this of course is repeated to the port side hull. At the helm, we see the glass bridge concept with two 12-inch screens flanking a compass over a Mercury vessel view display, all mounted to a dark acrylic panel. Below into port are push-button switches that light when activated, and a single switch powers up this panel and makes for easy one-touch shutdowns. The premium steering wheel is mounted to a tilt base. Note that the outboards are mounted on a 10-degree wedge to tow them outward so they can handle the Mercury joystick piloting system, which is going to be installed on this boat. While this boat was powered by twin 300 horsepower outboards, anything from 250 to 350 horsepower may be installed. To the right is the automatic trim tab panel, the Mercury joystick throttle and shift binnacle, and the place where the Mercury JPI joystick will be mounted, making it convenient for aft-facing docking situations. The double wide seats continue with the upscale upholstery and there are individual flip-up bolsters. As with the port side, a flip-out footrest would be nice. Around the side is storage that utilizes a drawer to take full advantage of the compartment's depth. Without a doubt, this is an impressive boat. She's more than capable of handling up to 20 guests, all while seated, 12 of those facing forward, and 4 for overnighting. As an entertainment platform, those capacities speak for themselves, along with the multiple gathering venues and on-deck galley to keep everyone happy. Add to that, the upscale features a meticulous fit and finish, and the Aquila 36 is one formidable catamaran. We're looking forward to testing her, but for now, that's our detailed walkthrough of the Aquila 36. For BoatTest.com, I'm Captain Steve. We'll see you on the water.